I thank you for taking all the pains to track down to Ben Green. To see things for yourself, where we were, where we are, and where we are headed to. I think I will just say much less because we have come to see. No, uh, by the virtue of who you are, and you have your performance key indices, so you know exactly what you're looking for. I'm excited that you're visit uh, because it's going to retell the story of Ben. There's so many things that are done on the paper, but when you visit the state as you have done, and thank you for choosing Benway as the very first stop of your oversight to see how far your membership from this axis, it's done with all the support you have been given uh, to them. So when you visit to see what is said to be on the paper with what actually is on the ground, then your narrative will be told. Another reason why I'm very excited at your presence is by the virtue of the formation of the New Dawn Caucus, you are expressing what Nigeria needs most now, a unifying force. I'm happy to hear that you've come from different umbrellas of political affiliations and then from all the different parts of the nation, and you're here. He says so much about what the nation needs now. Unity, 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 and this unity of purpose. You are coming to check on the ground what is yourself. You know, speak so much with what, not just the pillars, you know, seven pillars I and my administration had set out to accomplish. But to ensure that when you expect something, you first of all inspect it. That's correct. So if you want transparency, hard work, excellence, all these must be monitored exercised, followed, corrected before the end result. So you have come to cross-check your notes from what you had given out, from what you expect. And I think it's going to be a rhyme with fighting corruption in the nation. When we, be, we all say um, the polity or the, the architects of polities are corrupt, I tell people just be very careful on what they speak. They say charity begins at home. So if the scriptures tell us, if we are given a tiny uh, portion of work to do and you would not accomplish it, how would you expect to be given something bigger? The tiny portion is not accomplished, which again means you cannot even attempt to do the bigger one. 
much is given to you and much is expected of you. So the charity has to be begun from home of stemming and corruption. Let our yes be yes. If we accept to serve the entire masses, it's a sacrificial role we have accepted to play. To devoid our personal selves and then to fill in with the yearnings, with the desires, with the expectations of the poor masses. And our Nigerians, our fellow Nigerians, do not demand something so much. Because Nigerians have the equity, they have the craft, and they have the mind, you know, and the heart to just to be supported a little bit. They can stand on their own. All our poor farmers want is let them just have that tiny light for them to, to know that they are part of the entire system. Their children can read. Let them have the path that leads across to the local market, that leads through to, to their own farms. And they're satisfied. Let them have certain incentives that would enable them just to gear furthermore on their personal economy. So Nigerians do not have very tall demands at all. And this is why they vote us in. They believe us. They take the word we speak to them to their own banks. And it must be, be an honor on us, the elected, the anointed, that because our people have invested their trust in us, let us not disenfranchise them. Let us not deceive them. Let let us make them feel not just part of the system, but the, the, they chose us as messengers of what they want and they are praying for. So as we get out there and we fetch what they sent us, we transport it back to them. I'm happy you've come to see all these things for yourself. Again, I'm very excited that I'm hosting you the entire Nigeria in Makredi hosting one single day. Benue States is a very welcoming home. Benue States is host to many, many tribes in the country, many, many groups here in the nation. Um, a few days ago, we had the vice, we had the vice president uh, come down to Benue to commission the our fashion hub, a channel that is open for more employment, and uh, it's going to recreate more jobs for our team in as well. It was heavily represented by the deputy chief of staff at the presidency, Senator Hadija. And while he was here, we came in, you know, to have lunch. And there were a teeming number of you, you, uh, you call who are serving here in the state. You know, and, and, and they came out just to say hello to him. I felt quite elated. You know, and then they were saying, I am from this state, I am from this state, I am from this state. In a unifying spirit, that is what we need to have. A unifying force, a unifying purpose. I think your presence here again is going to speak so much to my people very good people of the state on changing the way we think. So if someone says government is corrupt, 
your presence is saying, no, wait a minute. We are an oversight committee. We have come to see by our very eyes whether our membership is working or not. Then we would fish out the bad fish and the sweet and good fish. And remember when you say government, you are also part of government. Sure. Yes. Because they elected us to represent them. Without their votes, you and I would not be standing here. That's true. So they are, in fact, they are the most important part of what you do and what I do. And this is why your visit means so much to me and our people. I was quite excited to hear the convener and the chair you know, mention that each time you go out for this task, there are certain narratives you're going to write. You can become ambassadors of the places you visit. Yeah. And where there's so much work done, but it seems hidden or unspoken of, you become the voices of those projects. You affirm them. I'm happy you are in Venice State. I thank you so very much for taking the pains to be here. Venice State is home. Fear at home. We are the headquarters of food in Nigeria. At some point, some side of our basket had perforated, <laughs> but we are patching it up so that we level everything up. Benway is home and the number one producer of yams in the whole world. As you are in the States, don't settle for anything rice or semo. <laughs> Just target pounded yam. Yeah. <laughs> I welcome you to go there. Okay, like you know, um, we are House Committee on Rural Development of the 10th House of Representatives. We are in Benue State today on a retreat, you know, to enhance and develop, you know, the rural policy in our dear country, Nigeria, as part of our responsibility in this committee. We identify Benue State as the food basket of the nation, and Benue State is one of the states that houses most rural dwellers. So we have come to see things for ourselves, and good enough, we inform His Excellency that we're in the states, and um, he graciously uh, received us. He has spoken to us about the challenges of the states and the prospects as well. We too have also made our commitment to helping, making sure that we speak on those projects that we have seen to commend the effort of the governor and the areas that need the attention of the federal government as a federal institution. We too we are going to draw attention of the federal government to see how we can make Benue State a better place. Your name, sir. What are, what are these projects you're talking about? Pardon? What are the projects you're talking about? We are going on the inspection of the projects. All the, all the rural Yes. Good. Yes. Your all the rural projects. I'm right, Honorable Marcos Onobu, Chairman House Committee on Rural Development. Marcos. Onobu. O-N-O-B-U-N. Thank you very much. Yes. Audio jump.